All right, so we're gonna be showing how to replace the battery on this Lenovo Legion Y7000P-1060. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is remove all the screws from the bottom. Uh, they appear to be PH1 or JS1 screws. Let's double check. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver and we're gonna remove all the screws. All right, so what you wanna do, um, you want to keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put the flat side down like this in the pattern that I remove them. All right, so we're going to remove those two up there. Okay. Then we got four screws going along here, so we're going to remove those. There's another screw hidden underneath this warranty sticker. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove those as well. Okay, just like this. All right, and you want to try and keep all these screws in order again because they can be different size, shape, and lengths, and mixing them up can cause damage to your computer. All right, all right get this one. All right, and then we got another, these three here, and then we got four more down there. So if you're wondering, this screw is much shorter than the other ones. So again, it's important to keep them in order because if you don't keep track of it and you put the wrong one, you can damage your computer. It looks like this isn't going to come apart nicely, so it's going to be messy. You can see the silver part stays attached to the computer. So let's go ahead and remove the middle screw. Seems to be staying attached in there, so we're just going to unscrew it until it stops. There we go. And let's go ahead and remove this screw. One. These screws are a little bit stuck. I'm going to use a magnet to help get them out. There we go. Let's see if this one needs a magnet as well. Looks like it comes out. Just need a magnet. All right. Okay. And then we got the last four down here. So we're going to remove those as well. Okay. I'm going to probably have to use the magnet to get those out as well. Okay. See if they come out with the magnet the corner ones are kind of staying there we go all right and the last one here this last one's there we go all right so now we got all the screws out let's go ahead and pop this cover off so assuming it's like other models we're gonna go here let's open it slowly okay so between the palm rest and the base you can get in there, there's a gap. You're gonna use a plastic pry tool. I just use my fingernails. So I pull with my fingers here and I push with my thumb. All right, and you can see the clips just come out just like that. So we're gonna go all the way around, okay? Working our way around, we're gonna close this down, okay? And then we're gonna continue prying up all around the edges. It looks like we might not have had to take these two screws out, but it's okay. All right, let's go ahead and continue prying this up. Okay, all right, so here you can see, now that we've gotten all those screws out, we can lift this cover up, kind of wiggle it a little, and there we go. So you can see there's actually a thermal pad on the bottom here. These fans are a little dusty, so I'm gonna clean those out as well as the bottom here. Um, but we're basically just replacing the battery on here. So, <clears throat> hmm, it looks like someone might have opened this before, but this is really weird. They poked a hole through this plastic. It's supposed to be flat down here. So, I don't know why it's like that. Um, hmm, interesting. Well, somebody worked on this before and then put a warranty sticker over it. Normally, this plastic would be like this, I believe, down here. So, whoever did this before messed it up, and that's why the screw was stuck. I'm going to try and bend this back. <clears throat> I don't know how they did it without ruining the warranty sticker, but they did. All right, so, wow, that keyboard cable looks like it's going to be damaged. It's all bent up there. Anyways, let's zoom in. We're going to be removing the battery. The battery model number, if you want the exact model, is L17C3PG2. All right, there's a lot of different replacement models for this battery, so <clears throat> you don't have to get the exact model number. Keep that in mind, all right? We're going to go ahead and open up the replacement battery right now. 
and double check, make sure everything looks good. Okay, so the seller actually covered the Lenovo logo here. But let me show you here. So the replacement battery, it looks like this. You can see L17, this is M3 PG1, so it's a little different model number, but the connector looks the same. As you can see, if you don't pay attention and you just plug it in, you might plug it in upside down. So make sure that you get it the right way. The If they put a dot on here, this should be facing up. The black uh, wires should be facing towards this cover for the RAM, and the red should be going out this way. All right, I have my customer waiting outside, so I don't wanna take too long doing this. Um, but here you can see the rating, 11.25 volts. All right, so the voltage is a little different. And then the amp, milliamp hours is a little different. Oh, actually, they have multiple different ratings here. 52.5 watt hour, and then there's also a 51 watt hour. So I don't know how that works, but there's multiple different. Okay, so this computer I didn't open in advance, so I didn't know what battery was in here. I, um, I just looked based on the model of the computer. Anyways, let's go ahead and remove the screws for the battery. Okay, so we got those two here. Okay, and then we got another one here, here, and then one up towards the middle. So we're gonna remove all of those batteries. I'll quickly go over what's inside the computer, but I'm not gonna be taking things out because again, the customer is waiting for me to finish and give them their computer. So I can't really take too much time on this. All right, once we got all the screws out, we can lift the battery up here, just like this. All right, it's getting stuck to the speaker, so I had to push the speaker down, but there we go. And then you just wiggle this connector and it should pop out. All right, so there you go, there's the battery. And again, this is the original that came inside this laptop, L17C3PG2, all right? Okay, so we're gonna put that there. Again, this looks kind of scary. You got the CMOS, BIOS, or real-time clock battery here. The Cable for the touchpad is going underneath the motherboard. Um, on the left side, you have a M.2 PCIe MDME SSD, and then you have a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Again, I'm just quickly going over what's in here. There's a wireless antenna right here, okay, going up to the, to the, oh, they're both here. So there's the other wireless antenna right there, okay, and they both go up to the wireless card right there. You got this connector here for the speakers, runs down, and then there's a wire that runs along here to the other speaker. You got this board for the USB port as well as the um, button on the side. I'm not sure if that's the, let me double check, is that? Yeah, that's the one key recovery button. So this puts it into like, you can do the boot options or the BIOS and things like that. Okay, it connects underneath the motherboard with this cable. Um, hard drive connects right there. Very standard SATA connector. Um, let's see what else. Got. One fan connector here, the other fan connector here. It looks like the fans aren't attached to the heatsink, but I could be wrong. All right, and the motherboard, CPU, GPU are soldered here. Um, this is most likely CPU and this most likely the GPU. RAM is under here. I will pop that out just to show. Um, you also got the LCD LVDS connector here, it looks like, that runs all the way up here. Okay, and the RAM to get under there, you just go underneath here. I just use my fingernails. You can use a plastic pry tool and just pop it up. Go under the corners or the edges, just like this. All right, let's go under this corner if we can. It's a little bit tricky to get it up. It's kind of holding down, so there we go. I kind of pried up that and then I just wiggled it and it pops up. You can do the same thing with the other side, kind of just wiggling it. And here you go, we have the RAM. It's 8 gig PC4 2666V. So if you want to upgrade it, make sure it's PC4 2666V. You can put two 16 gig sticks most likely. Um, but yeah, put it back at an angle, click it down into place. And we're just going to get this metal plate back on. Okay. All right, so I'm going to now... Um, uh, replace the battery and then I'm just going to clean it up and put it back together. So let's go ahead and put the battery back in here. Okay. So again, you want to make sure the black wires are going towards the RAM slot. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this. I don't know what I'm recording here. Hopefully that's okay. That should be good. So just get that lined up. Make sure it's straight and then push that in. Good. Okay. Then get the battery pushed into place. Perfect. Just like that. 
Okay, and then we're just gonna get all the screws back in. So, pretty straightforward. Easy to replace battery. Um, the bottom cover isn't very difficult to remove either. Again, somebody must have worked on this and then put that warranty sticker there because the plastic piece that was um, on there before was all messed up. I'm gonna clean this up and then I will put the plastic the way it should be and I'll show you. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna stick because it was on the wrong way so long, so the adhesive probably is no longer good. Um, anyways, I kind of bent this back. You can see they punctured a hole through here. So they must have like just forced the screw in there. That's pretty crazy. And it's on multiple spots actually. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, basically, I'll use a toothbrush and an electric air blower to get all this dust out, and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back, so you can see, hopefully you can see, the fans are a lot cleaner now, okay? And I just noticed there's all this broken plastic on the back of their computer, so somehow they broke this whole ventilation thing here. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and zoom out and put, ooh. You don't need to see all the junk all over my desk. We just need to see the laptop. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. Again, this should normally, it, you can actually see where the adhesive tore to line up with here. So it should actually be like this. And then these rubber pieces here are supposed to help keep it lined up as well. So I don't know why somebody screwed that all in wrong, but that's how it's supposed to be, okay? We're gonna now just get this cover and put it back. Oh, I forgot to brush off the cover in here, so we can do that real quick. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to put this cover back on, line it up like this, okay? Get everything clicked back into place, just like that. Again, I don't know how I didn't notice that before. But um, that's a pretty big break right there. All right, let's go ahead now and put back all the screws. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and actually power it up um, with the uh, charger just to make sure everything is working well. Um, we can actually see the dust here. Uh, it doesn't actually clean off, so we'll just leave it. All right. Hmm, how did I not notice that? That might be why the cover came off so easily. So if yours is difficult to come out, uh, keep that in mind. It looks like they actually had broken plastic on there. So, all right, we're gonna get all these screws back in. Okay, now I'm gonna have to double check my video because I'm pretty sure I would have noticed this missing there. That's really weird. How did I not notice that? <clears throat> Anyways, all right, let's go ahead and get all these screws back in. Then we're gonna plug it back in and hopefully everything is good. Okay. Get that screw in the way it should be. There we go, stick that warranty sticker back down. So I don't know how they opened it before without this warranty sticker getting messed up because it didn't look like it was even open, but internally it was like someone messed it up. All right. <clears throat> Last couple screws. Flip this over and power it up. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. It helps you save a bunch of money. Please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Again, these are customer computer uh, computers that I'm working on, so keep that in mind. All right, and let's go ahead now and plug this in and see how it goes. So I plugged it in and this Legion, Lenovo Legion light came on immediately. And the computer is actually turning itself on. So it's booting up and should be good to go. You can actually see the thing is spinning around. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.